incognito. Milky, how you doing, sis? Let me put this here. I got my two a half, fam, because I'm magnified, fam. Let's do it. Salute to her, man. Really nice. All right, guys. Are we ready? Are we ready for the show-offs? Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Me right here, nostalgic. He hit me up. He was like, D, my mom is watching, fam. My mom is tuned in. I want to make sure. How you doing, my brother? Good to see you again, my man. Bro, I'm good so to happy you. to see your mug. It's so beautiful. It's so good to have you here. Now, uh, you hit me up, and I was like, yes. Hit me, and I'm happy you hit me because, you know, it's a, it's a lot of people who send a request. And I said, let me show some love to you. So how's you doing, and where are you showing off from? Hey, uh, Shy Town once again, nostalgic rep in Shy Town. Um, man, that uh, I can speak for everybody on this chat right now and say that that uh, big L thing, that that figure was, I can't even, I'm lost for words. Really dope, man. That's the feeling. Yeah. I, 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 it was, you know what it is, bro. It's, yeah. You know, man. you just try to find something that's going to speak to our hearts. And, and that's really dope, man. Really dope. I appreciate Absolutely. those nice words, bro. Definitely, man. So one gem I wanted to share with everybody because, you know, I started uh, the MC thing a little later in life. But, you know, because I had to hone my craft and just contribute to the Chicago culture of hip hop. And uh, so I have a, an announcement. So I have a track coming up with El De Sensei of The Artifacts. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, man. So I'm excited about that. A Shrek? It's, uh, what's a that? Shrek? No, a track, a song. Oh, a I'm track. recording. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> a Shrek. I was just thinking green right now. A green forehead. <laughs> Congratulations, brother. I I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Yo, you got my. <laughs> I was like, a what? <laughs> Shrek and Elder Sensei. Exactly. Thank you. But yeah, man. So let me proceed. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of, of everything and I'm gonna keep it in a in an efficient, considerate pace because again, I know we got other peeps that wanna, you know, do For their sure. thing and show their gems. So I'm gonna start off with some t shirts. I'm gonna switch it up and uh, do some t shirts, all right? I love it. All right, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna flip the camera over. Wow. Billy Hoyle. Okay, Billy, can you count to 10? What's the score, Billy? <laughs> this is... <laughs> White man can't jump. This is... Uh... You already know. This is like... This is, yeah, easily, man. Between this and Teen Wolf, my, probably my two favorite basketball movies of all time. Oh, my gosh, bro. So the Billy Hoyle T uh, says Billy Hoyle in the zone and the artist, man, he did a, a good job. It's like a caricature kind of kind of flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we're going to proceed and move on to the next one because I, I made sure everything was organized for you, man. That way it's efficient. I love it. All right. So let me put that bad boy down. That's dope. Bro. Then we then we got to Cal Athletics uh, from Method Man's new because uh, he's been doing his fitness. Yes, thing, he's, he's trying been to working get, out. Been working out, dude. He's 50 years old looking like he's 30. Yeah. Uh, so he's, yeah, so I, I copped this sweater and ordered it, you know, just to support and obviously because it's dope and look at this insignia with the M logo, Ooh. All, all hoodied out basically, you know, for, for this shy town weather, as you know, the snowstorm we got here, we got montañas, we got like, it's, you could, <laughs> 100%, yo, Chicago weather, disrespect all your parents. Oh, yeah, exactly. All right, so moving on, we have Doodoo Bug. This is that man. I, uh, this cat is uh, has been very supportive of my music. Uh, Doodoo Bug of Diggable Planets, Hall of Fame MC from Diggable Planets. This is uh, his stuff. So the Caledophian, he's got his own thing now, his own shirt line. So definitely check his stuff nice. out. Doodoo Bug, shout out, shout out to Doodoo Bug of Diggable Planets. All right, so let me move Billy out of the way. The next bad boy is gonna be. This one, it was Big Boy from Outcast birthday recently. And, you know, I know you're a big sports head, just like myself. This Atlanta, so this is basically a Big Boy release that just came out for his birthday. It's uh, involved with Mitchell and Ness collabo. Wow. 
So, and, and man, I love this. I'm again, I'm a diehard Bulls fan, of course, but man, I've always admired the logo of the Hawks, the retro Pac-Man, you know, flavor. It's always been a dope, a dope little item. So hard work, uh, hard work classics, Mitchell and Ness, you know, Yo, it's so right. it's so dope when the when the team could show love to an artist, you know, a local artist. That's really really cool. Absolutely, absolutely. And of course, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make it to the Dilla to the Dilla one that you had the segment, which was dope. This shirt is probably man. Uh, ah, this is about a couple months after he passed. This is he's got the MPC, so it shows obviously the MPC, and then you got the gold chain with the detail. So this one's, uh, I do it because it gives me a sort of peace of mind and for the love. Too far. In. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let me keep it going. Yo, so, guys, I, I just want, before you, before you continue, yo, okay. we had a, two Grimlocks. We had, uh, uh, I forgot, we had a crank and we got a Billy. From uh, White Man Can't Jump. So we're doing good on this show. All right. So moving on. Keep it efficient for everybody else. Wow. Cross colors. Cross colors. <laughs> this is an official cross colors team collab with none other than, you know, Will Smith, the Fresh Ooh, Prince yo. of Bel Air. So let me turn it around just so everybody can get a, a you know, a vivid memory of that, that logo. Classic. Man, man, 90s all the way, baby. So yes. let me keep it moving. Chilling. So then we got nostalgic. We, we got Funk Dr. Spot, a.k.a. Reggie Noble from Brick City. So we got this is uh, from his actual uh, merch uh, site uh, from his latest. He had a four track EP recently. Yeah, that one song was yeah. So this is uh, one of his tees that I uh, let me show you that nice little logo on the on the left hand side. Fire. This is one of Redman's latest tees. I was looking for that. There's a dark side, but man, I, it, it was nowhere to be found. So I was like, you know what? I'll get the next best thing. And no, I'll... I love that, bro. That's directly supporting the artist, and that's really really man. cool. Yeah, definitely. I, I I support all indie people. You know, it's it's magical. And of course, <laughs> you remember we talked about <laughs> we talked about the Teen Wolf uh, joint. I'm a big Michael J. Fox guy, so you know it's only it's only right, my gems. To uh, so Scott Howard, obviously his character, you know, he was the spunky, uh, semi decent basketball player, and then we turned when he turned into a wolf. That was it. Magic and Mike, get out of the way. Yes. Dells, he's got a Team Wolf jersey fan. Let's go. All right. So next one we got. Oh, man. Holy. So Prince Paul did. So basically he did a, an auction on, a personal auction on his on his eBay site. Yeah. Basically giving, you know, some of his gems out and selling them. So I had to take advantage of one of these bad boys so this is prince paul inside your mind yes. featuring mr dead and paul barman this is an instrumental all right wow. female fun quality records and this is what makes it special i ha i mean this is <laughs> he signed the vinyl for me oh so so yeah, he was yeah, he was yeah, Prince Paul, the legend of the skits, the creator of the skits. Uh yeah, so Prince Paul to 2021. And then this bad boy. He also signed as well. Let me uh make sure the vision is not blurred. This Yo, one Paul he uh, been... be on here. If you got oh, it. Is, is it, oh, is that right? Yeah, he be on he be in the he be in this comments. He be, he's, okay, he's that's on cool. the show once in a while. I've seen him. Oh that man, I'm, shout him out, man. Shout him out. So yeah, this one is uh, you know, he, he snapped with the with the nostalgic and peace. So that was that was pretty exciting for me. That's so dope, brother. Really good. All track. right. So keep let's keep it moving. So now so that this everybody is another... knows uh Prince Paul is somebody who I've contacted to do this show. 
and he hit me up because he was going through his garage cleaning everything out. And then when exactly. it was time, I was like, so you're ready? And he's like, bro, truth is, I'm moving. So that's why I'm trying to get, you know, all my stuff organized. So he's still in the works. He always hits me, but I'm so happy you showed that off because it shows that going through his stuff has been fruitful because he's got gems. You are absolutely right, man. All right, so this is uh, one of my buddies I met in Comic-Con of January 2020, and uh, we became cool, man, and close uh, as far as the, you know, hip-hop connection and the energy. Uh, his name is Just Scope. He's a cat from Oakland, California. A good dude, man. And uh, so this is a Method Man print. Wow. All right. And then, uh, you know, still going on with the whole Doom thing, you know, and, and with Dillamont. So let me kick it off with the Mad Villain joint. Fire. Written in cold blood with a toothpick. So looks so nice. Yeah, it's it's nice and clean. And it's got like yeah. it's just it's clean. You know what I mean? Okay. And then this is the second one. This is kind of um, this is basically at a forty-five print. It's got the <laughs> last donut of the night. Fire. All right. As we proceed to give you what you need. Nice. Okay. Oh damn! You can see my shiny bald head. I should have not put all that after. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right. It goes Mila one more time. What up, Mila? That's my dog, Mila. Um, so these, these are beer coasters. What? These are beer coasters. Yeah, so shout out to my friends So and Ivy. They got this for my birthday about three or four years ago. So this is uh, the Metroid one. These are all beer coasters. And the and it's crazy because the detail it looks like a midget, like they shrunk you know a Nintendo cassette and and smashed it in a presser. Wow, that's dope. So yeah, the Donkey Kong. Yeah, Metroid. Yeah, definitely Metroid was dope. All right, Super Mario Two, <laughs> The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> I mean, man, that gold cassette. Fam, that gold cassette, I never I got know, it as a I kid. know, That's why, like, some of the things, actually, I, Man. I know people watch this show and their brains hurt because they're like, oh, my God, remember you that? You get a migraine. For real. You get a migraine half of the time. All the excitement. And then um, my wife, uh, for my recent birthday, gave me this uh, biggie. Uh, birthday card. Birthdays was the birthdays. Now we ship, sip champagne till we Thursday. All right. Shout out to the wife. Yes. All shout right. out to her. She's a gem. That's awesome. And then uh, th this is hers, by the way, the Dilla, uh, Dilla print. My wife is uh, originally from Cali. So uh, before she moved out here four years ago, she blessed this uh, gem in the household. And uh, yeah, it's been a beautiful thing. Great All right. catch, brother. All right. Uh, the Beat Punisher, Stu Bangas. He's he's been around for a while, and uh, man, he's been he's been doing his thing. He's a producer, Stu uh, Stu Bangas. So yeah. basically, this is the cassette. Wait until you see the inside, though, man. It's it's a nice little touch. It's got a nice clean design. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah, he just started releasing these uh, bad boys about a couple weeks ago. So, Stu Bengas, shout out to him. And then he got his son making beats, too. He's about, like, 10 years old, and he's now he's making beats. So, it's amazing, man, what this culture can do to everybody. Yeah, man. All right? It's really cool. All right. So, I'm going to – I'll speed it up. I don't want to take too much time up. So, then we got another <laughs> another Teen Wolf. All right. Yo, Teen Wolf is the killer. I love it. KMD. Since I was, I was twelve. I still have the same one from since I was twelve years old. So this is the original one, bro. And I, I had to switch the case obviously because you know it. Yeah, it's, of it course. Takes, it ages. So yeah, yeah KMD. There was, there was drug residue on the last one. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then we got. I'm a big Batman guy, so. Wow. The Prince, the Prince soundtrack, and man, Prince threw it down on this soundtrack with, you know, 
the Michael Keaton Batman, which is personally my favorite Batman of all time, the the Michael Keaton old man. A lot of people are going to debate, but... Son, I've said it. When I watched that movie, two cats were making sex in front of the movie screen, ruining the whole experience, but making me laugh. So I love that movie. All right. So I got a quick... uh, a shout out to uh, Jenny Loves Hip Hop. She's on IG. She uh, She's uh, big on her hip hop. She's from Cali. Her and two other artists, they did a giveaway last week. And uh, the artist's name is Ed, Ed Weird. Okay. So that is his, that's his painting, right? Yes. That's a l- nice little doom with a uh, halo over his mask. And then along with that, I won the beanie as well. So a nice little custom made beanie from the artist. Wow. Uh, he won the beanie. All right. This is Chrome Children. When Stone's Throw did that too. You can see quite, you know, Mad Lib and, and Doom. It's a, you know, it had the D, it has the DVD in here and then it has the CD as well. That's when they were doing that, uh, what is it? Uh, the Cartoon Network thing, the yes, collab. The Adult Swim. Yes. All right. So this one is special to me because I'm, like I said, man, born and raised Bulls fan. Uh, so this is Luel Deng. Uh, you know, he's, he's bounced around the league and eventually came back and retired with the Bulls. Uh, Derek Rose, he signed. It's kind of funny because there was they, they used to have meet, meet and greets back in the day. And you can get free tickets uh, to meet the Bulls players before the game um, during the preseason. So Derrick Rose signed the back of Luol Deng's jersey. I just gave it to him, man. I just sh- shoot my shot, and, and he. So that's his autograph, Derrick Rose. That's dope, really dope, yeah. man. You remind Which is- me, man. I was there last year for the NBA All Star. I was, uh, I hosted, and uh, you know, it's a beautiful city, bro. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, and yeah, definitely, man. I was, I remember you were hosting it, so that would have been dope to attend. So I, I regret not going. All right, so let me keep this train moving. Okay, I, you remember seeing this guy last time, so I'll skip Raekwon. Bendicion, Bendicion. All right? Yeah. So let me open this up. I got a little LED light action, so let me dull the lights a little bit. Oh, a, a shout out. He's shout about out to, to go Philly. Michael Bay on us, fam. Ooh. How's the lighting? Is it okay? Yeah. <laughs> So this is, uh, yeah, this is, un- oh, I haven't opened it yet. I, and I, I don't think I'm going to open it at all, to be honest. So it's a Mad Villain original copy of Mad Villain, the tape. Fire. And then this is a candle from an artist uh, from Cali as well. It's a uh, St. Candle Shop. And this is a customized Doom candle, man. It's basically, look at the. Yeah, that's dope. It looks like a Botanica joint, fam. Yeah, yeah, man. And then it has basically Operation Doomsday. Uh, all the lyrics on the back, basically. <laughs> all right. Nice. Okay, so now we got, you know, it was only right to blend in uh, Dr. Doom with MF Doom. So nice. All right. And then, so another Prince of Thieves <laughs> that I copped from uh, Prince Paul. By the way, my OG did all this. Uh, she she did a, I call her the Martha, uh, the Puerto Rican Martha Stewart of uh, Chicago. She hooked she it up, down. Man. She hooked it up. So shout out to, to Ma Dukes. So yeah, this is uh, Prince of Thieves uh, promo card. And then you've seen this before, I'm sure, a couple of times. I remember the business card of uh, Handsome Boy Modeling School, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> this is his cassette single, Prince of Thieves. Wow. Which I, you know, I'm not going to open either. All right. Then we got some. Let me let me turn on that light. Yo, archive. Sorry. He's nostalgic is out here hitting us in the face. Soundwave. So th- this is the Netflix series uh, Transformer that it came out. So, um... <laughs> I turned my back on you, fam. Yo. No. You're good. Oh my god! How That's a Hasbro one as well, but it's more of a plush kind of deal, like you know, like soft, uh, yes. kind of like a soft plastic. And this is a uh, another Optimus. 
You saw Bumblebee last time, you know. He's he'll say what. All right. So yeah, look at his eyes though. This, that that's what trips me out the eyes. So hard. Okay. And uh, you saw these already. You pretty much saw these last time. The out of time. Nah, bro. We seeing them the... now, man. Let's go. Yo, I'm loving. Yo, his Team Wolf situation is legit. The DeLorean. When I was 16, back in the day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, sh I'll revisit that again once yes, again. Yes, I remember this, bro. Yes. All right. And this is one of my guys, man, that I used to Uber. He's one of my guys, Brian. He, he gave me this, man. He ordered the trilogy on Blu-ray, and he gave it to me. He just said, here, I know you appreciate it. So he gave it to me. This is a magnet of the hoverboard. So look, at you see how it glides? Yeah. What? It's insane. It's it, all you need is Marty. Oh damn. Okay. Say <laughs> jodio. Say jodio. Yeah, I know. But that's so cool, bro. Michael J. Fox. All right. So I'll speed it up. So this uh, this is not the original, but still indeed a gem because it's these are still hard to get. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna I'll lay it out flat so you can see it consistent, nice and the it's, you know, it's, it's a reissue of his rookie card. So I apologize for the lighting if it's too no, dark. It's all good, bro. Okay, cool, cool. My wife is born and raised in uh LA as a <laughs> ah! Come on, son. There so these, go. my wife uh, makes these. So this is my wife, uh, Listalgic Crafts. Her name is uh, Lizette. So it's Listalgic Crafts. So basically, these are beer coasters as well. Leon! Yo, we got Chicago heavy in here today. Salute to everybody in Chicago tuned in right now. I appreciate that. Really dope. He's running us through some amazing gems um, from Teen Wolf, Transformers, to hip-hop. Now, these are dope. What are they, tiles? No. Uh, they? Yeah, yeah. you know what? It, basically, yeah. And uh, she prints them on as, as, as detailed as she can possibly can. And, uh, and then the magic happens from there. Wow. This is from 1998. This is an original Muhammad mm -hmm. Ali. GQ Athlete of the Century. This is from '98, actually. Uh, you know, rest in peace to uh, the legend Muhammad Ali. I'm a big boxing guy, so. And tomorrow's All right, let's... Jordan's birthday, so. Yo! Yes, it is. Wait, I I did a Jordan's. Should I do a Jordan? Yo, actually, let me ask everybody in the room. In the room, should I do a Jordan special tomorrow for his birthday? Oh man! I mean, I know we had uh, uh, Joshua on, but we could give everybody else a chance. You guys, Definitely. let me know in the comments. That's that's a that's a pretty good idea. Probably that, that would be, that would be nuts. All right, well, I'm almost done wrapping it up. So this is a Funko Pop of Logan. All right. Okay, we got. That's it. Jordan special tomorrow, Milky. Oh man. Ooh. This is from Guardians of the Galaxy, the mixtape the Star Lord has. <laughs> Let me turn that around. Yo, this guys, is this is legit. Like this is a, this is how they released it. I swear, I swear, I swear. It, it is looks legit. like a real mixtape, guys. It, it does most definitely. And then we got this is the Spider Man from the '90s cartoon. Actually, if you see him, the Peter Parker, you know, Spidey. Ooh. From Commander on Fox, they had that cartoon, you know, after school, come home and don't do your homework and you start watching cartoons. <laughs> All right, let's go to the horror. And the, oh, Magway, Magway, <laughs> and we got a gizmo. 
Yo, son! Everybody who does voices out here, you guys are super winners, fam. Super <laughs> champ. He hit us with a gizmo, with a woody, fam. Oh, man, we all in there. So this is Mike, Michael Myers, Compay Mike Myers. He's uh he's chilling until his next film uh, being released in a, in a year. Nice. And that's a nice detailed figure. And then you got some pins as well. Ash from Evil Dead. Nice. Michael Myers trading card. You got uh, Freddy, Theo Freddy in the back. He rocks. Yo, nostalgia came with nothing but gems. So this, the movie uh, Jordan Peele's Us, this is a replica of none other than, let me just open it real quick. I yes. apologize. Yes, I can't wait. So this is from the movie Us, the scissors, the gold scissors. Jordan Peele. Yes. Let me close that up. Yo, and you know what? And you will be excited, and you probably already know, but one of the movies I was looking forward to, uh, uh -huh. based in Caprini Green, he was going to do, see if you know. Candyman. Yes. Dude. Woo. So, yes, I if you guys know the wonderful gentleman who did Get Out and Us uh, got the rights to do Candyman, worked on the sequel. There was a trailer, and I was so fired up about it. It was one of those movies that I was fiending to see. And they held that back along with Ghostbusters. So, um, Candyman. Oh, my God. Refrigerator Perry. Guys. Saying what up, what up to the gems. Son. And then, uh, yeah, the def yeah, the OG Blaster. You, you know, so this one is special, man. I, I'm about to wrap it up so the next gentleman or gentlewoman can, can get on. Yes. Uh, this, this Black Panther book, man, uh, the illustrated history of a king, it, it, check it out, man. It's, it's available on Amazon and it's just available. It's a, it's a beautiful book. They have different prints. You, do you mind me showing you? Is that okay? Yeah, of course, yeah. bro. All right. All right. All right. I'm just trying to be considerate of everybody's time. It's all good. All right. I'm going to do this. So you got to see the detail, man. So let me, let me go on. It's not, it's not just Black Panther. It's Marvel stuff. So basically... It's a tribute. It's a tribute to uh, to him. Nice. But dude, check check this out for all the comic book heads out here, and I know there's a bunch of them. Yes. Morbius. I know he's a big time comic book head Bro. as well. <laughs> Fantastic Four status. Wow. All right. So it's cool, man. It just, it's got a lot of nice vintage comic book, you know, covers and it's a nice detail. I mean, look at it. It's 20 cents back then. Comic books are 20 cents. I don't Come even on, think I was born. Man, let's get it. Man. All right. So just to give you an idea about this book. Uh, so yeah. Really good. And uh, All right. I got to meet, I got to meet him on, uh, in, in Chicago, man. And it's, um, Are you serious? Yeah, man. I, we, we, oh I was in a party. Uh, me, Common, um, um, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. Wow. And then he walked in and um, I, I said, what's up, B? Because I'm on the dance floor, right? Listen, fam, I like to <laughs> dance. So when I'm okay. on the dance floor... Everybody on the dance floor should dance, right? Right. So Chadwick Bozeman comes in. I respect it. I get it. You're you. Yeah. Everybody's having a blast on the dance floor. And he stands on the dance floor like, yo, what's up? Black Panther's here. And I'm wow. like, fam, you dancing? Or what we doing here right now? And he smiled, you know, because me, I'm like, I love it. I admire artists and, and talented individuals. And I also like us to all have a good time, right? That's Yo, what so important. So That's it was what it's really, all about. I, I got him to chuckle and, um, you know, definitely gone young. So that that's that that, that was a moment. Um, and there you go. Like clockwork. None other than nostalgic coming with it right here. So... So this was a collaboration from the creator of Spawn, uh, Todd McFarlane. Yep. He's rocking the, the Spawn suit, man. So uh, 
it was only right to have a little section of him, man, in honor of him because he was a, he seemed, obviously I didn't know him in real life, but he seemed like a great human being and uh, you could see the humbleness. So I'm glad that you were blessed to witness him in the physical. So that, I appreciate that. That's great. Very good. Very, very, very good dude. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man. So the last thing I'll show you before I bounce, uh, oh, and not the, uh, I love it because I remember last time you was on, everything was 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 scattered around, and you hooked it up a little something. Yeah, exactly. I had to make sure I come correct this time and more organized. So there we go. That's my my wife brought this from Cali as well. This is her from her collection, so I had to throw it in there. And then, last but not least, uh, uh, for you know, I'll do more gems for another day. I'll spread the love. This is an autographed Joaquin Noah jersey. I've always been a fan of Joaquin Noah. Just his hustle. And um, you know, he was a nick he was a nick at one point. So much love to him. And that is all we got, ladies my and brother, gentlemen. You killed it, you smashed it, my hands are standing up. You made me think about so many great things, so many great memories just came through my head. Man, thank you for taking us on a ride. Everybody no enjoyed it, man. I hope you enjoyed. What was it like showing off your gems, bro? Man, it's uh, it's always a pleasure and it's a blessing to be a part of this uh, Gems Extravaganza, you know, thanks to you. It's beautiful, man. So let's keep this good energy going uh, for the next gentleman and uh, we'll see y'all soon. Let's Much go. You Thank you, wow. brother. Good job. Appreciate it. Nostalgic out here shining. Thank you so much, my brother. Getting it off. DJ Create is in here. Hopefully you are having a wonderful day. Find several opportunities in life to smile. Today, I had such an interesting day, an uh, interaction that I don't think would have happened any other time, but it happened today in real life, and it made me smile uh, to be able to introduce so many uh, good people to none other than Gems and our wonderful culture. Salute to Rashad. Thank you for posting that image, um, the paid in full homage, happy Valentine's Day that I did a while ago, but I got to tell you guys, Yo, nostalgic hat gems. I'm not gonna knock it. I'm not gonna rush nobody who, you know, unless I had, you know, a specific agenda and I just needed him to get his burn. Like, let the homie live. Right here on Show Off Your Gems. Guys, uh, my battery is about to nah, I can I can charge it, but let's let's do this. Before we go, listen, call to action, everyone. Tomorrow, we're going to do a special Michael Jordan, the GOAT. Yes, Michael Jordan 